Hey guys, Reptiliacnids here. Um, I don't have too many videos on YouTube right now. I'm kind of new to the whole reptile, lizard, snake thing, but uh, I've always loved them all my life. And uh, today I'm going to be doing a video of my room tour, show you everyone and everything, how their setups are. And uh, yeah, you'll see my room's pretty bare. Uh, just moved into this new apartment after my house burned down back in October. Uh, no one was hurt. All pets made it out except for my sister's turtle. Sucks pretty bad, but, uh, yeah. We lost everything, so right now my bedroom's pretty bare. But we've been making it by. So, uh, yeah, let's get the tour on. Oh, and, uh, also on the forums, I'm on ballpythons.net under reptiliacnids. I'm on reptile canadas. Reptile Canada under Reptiliacnids, and I'm also on Arachno boards at Arachno Freak. So feel free to send me a friend request, message me, whatever. Okay, everyone. Uh, so here's the beginning of my room, as you can see. And there's the end of my room. This is it. So, uh, first off, I'll get started by showing you who's under here. You're going to be hearing him through all of the video, so... Here is Leroy. This is my white-faced pied cockatiel, Leroy Jenkins. He is quite the butthead. Loves to make noise. Always loud. So you'll always hear him in my videos. <laughs> he can say a few words and he knows a bunch of noises and whistles. He turned three, February 27th. He was three years old. I've had him since he was seven months. How he has grown. Here's the cage I have for him. Nice big cage. I could probably fit two cockatiels in there if I wanted. But he loves it. I'll only ever have him. He's enough of a hassle by himself. So next, have my bearded dragon. She's a pastel tiger crossed with a citrus. There she is there. She's nine inches long. She's extremely a butthead. She's really aggressive right now. Can't, I'm not too sure why. And Right here we have Ekans, my corn snake enclosure. Got it under the tank heater right there. I don't have a thermostat or a retrostat on it. Instead I have it rigged up like that with a piece of glass over top of the heater and then posts holding that up and it keeps the temperature at 89 Fahrenheit right now. So it keeps it nice and right. He's currently hiding, of course. And here's the last little bugger. You can see the butt right there. That is my B. Smithy tarantula. And I currently don't have anything in the Exoterra. So, with this girl, I actually got this bearded dragon kit right here on Boxing Day for a hundred and something dollars. Came with the tank, the Repti carpet, that water dish, that water dish right there, the three lights, and some food and other little accessories. Yeah, I know some people don't like this style of UVB bulb. But it's all I have right now, and I am going to be getting her the fluorescent tube when I save up enough money. But it keeps it nice and good. 150 watt heating bulb right there. Got a driftwood. Little hut I made. And it's made out of flour and water. And you form it and throw it in the oven. I'll link the tutorial in the description below. It's also got the huts in there as well I made 
And for Aragog, my tarantula, I just have a baby food jar with cocoa fiber. And for Ekans, it's a 51 quart, I think, tub, stir light tub from Walmart with paper towel substrate. And there's the probe thermometer. And also with Leroy, paper towel is the way to go for the substrate. There he is eating this premium bird seed. Okay, after this, um, uh, oh yes, that's her stand right now. I couldn't afford anything before I got her, so I just did something up. So yeah, I'm going to get on to feeding videos now. I'm not going to be including them in this video, there will be separate videos on my channel. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks uh, for watching all my videos, I hope you enjoyed. And a shout out I'd like to give to John3800, Reptiliatus, and Tarantula Guy. All three of you, I couldn't have done any of this without you because you guys brought me into this world of tarantulas and reptiles. And I love you guys for it. Without you, I wouldn't be here. So thanks a lot.